Hello everyone, welcome to JD's Guidance. Friends, in this video, I am going to explain you the cost concepts. When we have to know the cost concepts, we are basically trying to know about these things. We are trying to know what is a cost object, what is a cost center, what is cost unit, what is cost drivers and how we can classify the cost or what are the cost types. Now in this video, we will see cost object, cost center, cost unit, cost drivers. I will give you the link in the description box for this one that is cost classification. So let's get started. First let us understand what is a cost object. So friends we all know that in any organization there if it is producing or it is delivering service there has to be some of the other types of cost. So we have to know what is a cost object. So remember it's a very simple thing cost object. Cost object means anything to which the cost has to be ascribed. Why we are incurring the cost? On which things we are incurring the cost? So we are incurring the cost on products, we are incurring the cost on services, we are incurring the cost on departments. Okay, so this means cost object. Cost object means what is, a, what is that particular thing in the organization to which the cost has to be ascribed. Okay, so means we are trying to find out in this organization what are the things to which we are saying this is the cost. So it can be cost object can be a product, it can be a service okay, or it can be combinations, combination of product and service. So cost object is anything to which the cost has to be ascribed. Okay, if it is a producing organization, so product is the uh, cost, whereas if it is a service, service is the cost or sometimes in an organization we want, uh, we produce product, we take service also, so that is a combination of both. That means why we are incurring the cost, we are incurring the cost, the cost is incurred on what, on product, service, combination, that is a cost object. Okay, now let us understand what is a cost center. So remember this word cost center has come from a particular broader term that we call as responsibility center. Now what happens in big big organizations the entire decision making things cannot be concentrated with one person because it is a big organization so we have to share the responsibilities to different people. We have to share the responsibilities to different levels of the organizations. Okay, so as we share the power, we share the responsibility. Therefore, in an organization, we can divide the organization on some on the basis of some responsibility centers. So we have in an organization some we have some uh, some departments. We may have some divisions. We may have subdivisions. We may have sections. Okay, they are having some particular responsibility. Now that center which deals with the responsibility of controlling the cost, controlling the cost is known as cost center. So cost center is that center of the organization which is responsible for controlling the cost. This is one way of understanding what is a cost center. Another way is that it is that segment, that division, that department to which the cost is accumulated. Okay. So suppose we have an organization, we have an organization okay and the organization has different departments or it may have different departments and different sections it may have different departments division sections now we are accumulating cost in this department there can be some cost okay there can be some cost there can be some cost so that i mean that center in which all the costs are accumulated okay is known as cost center we are classifying all the cost Okay, and uh, we are trying to ascertain what is the cost. So that is done in a center called cost center. Okay, so cost center is somewhere where all the costs are accumulated. They are responsible for, this is the center which is responsible for controlling the cost, responsible for controlling the cost. So they are responsible for all the cost of the organization. Okay, now as we divide the organization on the basis of different centers so one center is called cost center now the thing is that we have a department suppose we have a department one and uh, we have incurred a cost 20,000 this is the cost center this is the cost center 
so the cost is rupees 20000 now what we have to do is that we have to recover this cost okay we have to recover or we have to absorb the cost now we will recover this cost in terms of something called cost unit so we recover the cost this is something that means what we are doing here is that in cost center we are trying to allocate the cost what is the cost whereas in 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 a in a cost unit we are trying to recover or absorb the cost i will explain you what does this mean this means that cost center we have allocated we have found or cost is accumulated in this center for rupees 20000 now i have to convert this cost in terms of some measurable units okay i have to convert in terms of units what is that measurable units what is that units for example uh, if it is a production department so i will recover it in terms of units say for example rupees 10 per unit so that means this total cost will be recovered in terms of rupees 10 for every unit it produces okay it may be a hotel if it is a hotel then the units cannot be like this it cannot be output or units the unit will be something different it may be rupees 10 per plate of dish or per meal served meal served if it is a hotel i will say that rupees 10 for the bed occupancy or room occupancy so that means what we are doing we are trying to absorb the cost in terms of some units okay this units can be in terms of unit physical unit it can be in terms of hours it can be in terms of uh, anything it can be in terms of combination of units and hours so that is called that is called cost unit so what is a cost center cost center is where all the costs are accumulated and what is a cost unit it is that measurable units in terms of which the cost has to be absorbed or we are trying to recover the cost so this 20000 will be recovered in terms of rupees 10 per unit 10 per meal served 10 per bed occupancy or 10 per hour okay 10 per hour so it depends on what type of department was department one if this department is a department which produces physical units the units can be in terms of 10 per unit if it is a service department which which is uh, maybe an example is a restaurant so it will say rupees 10 per meal served if it is a, a hotel which provides lodging so it will rupees 10 per bed occupancy if it is suppose a internet surfing center where people go and browse so they will say rupees 10 per hour so this is called cost unit coming to the last one that is what is a cost driver cost driver cost driver is all those factors which influences cost whatever factors which cause a change in the cost is called cost drivers okay cost drivers are the factors that changes factors that brings or affect that affect cost okay it may reduce reduce the cost it may increase the cost example example of cost driver for example don't you think that our cost will be influenced by how many units i produce units of production okay so what will be my cost will depend on how many units i am producing similarly what will be my cost will also depend on uh, number of advertisements okay suppose in this year i have made more number of advertisements so my cost will be affected so cost drivers are all those factors which influences the cost in a factory we may have number of setups how many setups are done so these are the ways by which we classify the drivers drivers means all those factors which causes a change in the cost so that is all about the basic concepts of what is a cost object cost object means for which I am ascertaining the cost. It can be a product, it can be a service, it can be a department, etc. Cost center means that section, that division, that person, that equipment for which the cost has to be ascertained and the cost is accumulated. Cost unit is the measurable units, okay, uh, in terms of which the cost is expressed and we want to recover it in terms of that. 
cost drivers are all those factors which influences the cost and we will uh, see the cost classification in my next video so many a times uh, you get to uh, uh, i mean you have to face a question like what is the difference between cost center and cost unit this is a very important point and very important from examination point of view that what is the difference between a cost center and cost unit we are going to see this in my next video so thank you for watching this video you will also get the ppts of this entire discussion in the description box thank you so much